This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. All right. Well, T.I. and Godfrey had a bit of a back and forth. Now, it all started with Godfrey commenting on T.I. doing stand-up. And I guess when T.I. was doing stand-up, Godfrey was the headliner, but somehow T.I. ended up going on after him. So, so it's his town. Atlanta's his is, town. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. I didn't go in to watch. Yeah. Oh. I didn't go in to watch T.I. because as a headliner, no one's supposed to go up after you. Yeah. Right. But as there's a code in comedy that I follow. I'm not watching what you can't do better than me. Yeah. You're not a comedian to me. You, you're you working your way. I give him... You're, he's taking it seriously. I don't know how long he's going to do that. All right. Well, T.I. took to his Instagram to respond to this. Here's what he said. Bro, I'm not your opponent. You talking about, you know what I'm saying, you've been doing this and, and, and how long you've been doing it and, 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 and for somebody to come on after you, after you were headlining. Hey, bro, you know how many comedians it is out there rapping right now? You said in your little interview is you said that he's not a comedian and had you taken the time to come to the stage which you said that you would not do and you should not do but i i disagree mm. you would have heard in my set i say i'm not a comedian i'm a superstar that's a difference i'm still tilt the same they said couldn't be the king of the south and that's why i'm the king of the south today so look man let's everybody man coexist together okay i get what T- i like how t i said t i said t i said in your little interview in your little interview. <laughs> interview. But I get why Godfrey would be a little upset. Not the fact that T.I. was on the show, but if I'm a closer, right? If I'm finishing the show and it's my show and I'm supposed to be the ender and then somebody comes after, doesn't matter who they are, I would feel a way. Like, I, I couldn't see oh, no, Dave I, Chappelle I, doing a show and the closer, he, he's the closer. He finishes, he's the headliner. He's the headliner and then somebody comes after him on his show. I, that would be a little strange. Well, Chappelle, uh, well, Ch- Chappelle does let people perform after him. But you know what's interesting? I would ask Godfrey if it was Dave Chappelle. Or if it was Chris Rock or let's say Eddie Murphy and they just walked in the comedy club and wanted to go on even after the headliner was done, I wonder if he would have a problem with it. Mm, you right. Yeah, right. So that's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? I think it's I think it's a lack of respect for for T.I. As, as, as a comedian. Now you say it like that because... Which you, I understand if I'm Godfrey. But you don't want to follow Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock either though. Mm-hmm. I remember when, um, when Donnell was taping his special in Charlotte... He was like, I had to tell Dave to stop coming on before me to introduce me because it kind of ruins the flow of things, I guess, for him. So after that, he let him come on after him. Mm. So I guess it just depends on what the situation yeah, is. Yeah, it just depends on who it is. That's right. all. It's a respect thing. I get, I get what Godfrey's saying. You know what I mean? It's, it's just a respect thing. I'm Godfrey, a seasoned comedian. T.I. should not be coming on after me since I'm the headliner. But if it was... If it was an OG, like like I said, a Chappelle, a Rock, or Eddie Murphy, I think he would he wouldn't have he would a problem. With that. Yeah, I, I could be wrong. It's like a surprise. I don't want to speak for him. Right. All right. Uh, you know, some people don't like going on last either. Like some people feel like if you wait to the end, comedians. Yeah, yeah. Some people hmm. would rather not go last. I know artists do. I don't know about comedians. All the big comedians that I I, I watch, they all go on last. Whether it's Rock, some people Dave like Chappelle, being like or... in the you know in the middle at the height of things because then people if it's a long show especially. And there's like a whole lot of people going on before you. By that time, people are tired, Mm -hmm. you know. All right, now Tank posted, uh, shout out to all my R&B constituents who do it for the culture of R&B that understand that doing this together is bigger than hoarding our own individual moments. The ones who don't pick up when I call, I still love you. My line is still open for the win. As I close out this last album, it's kind of bittersweet. I think about the calls I made to continue the connection of R&B camaraderie and all the calls that weren't returned. It doesn't hurt because I needed them. It just hurt that making good music together has become about something other than the music. I'm one of the best ever at what I do right now as we speak, but that has never been a reason for me not to work with anybody. So he did say the sweet is in the calls that were returned. And Tank is definitely great at what he does as mm-hmm. an artist, as a songwriter. He's been in this business for a long time. I didn't realize this is his last album. Yeah, I didn't know that either. But yeah, you should want to work with him on his last album, mm-hmm. at least. All right, now um, Snoop Dogg and Diddy are teasing a long-awaited Death Row and Bad Boy Records collaboration. You ever would have thought that this would happen. But as you know, Snoop Dogg has acquired Death Row Records. He had a conversation with Diddy. Diddy told him, congratulations, King. Great move, great move. You taught me how to, um, and he said, you taught me how to play chess, not checkers. So now we can do what we want to do. Death Row and Bad Boy, we've been doing it. And... 
you know, Snoop is saying, come on, Puff, I'm going to put it in the air. Quit playing with me. I'm going to put it in the air. I think that's great. Yes. And I see Snoop is also modeling for Gucci now. So I seen that too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a nice picture too. I enjoyed, you know, it looks dope. Snoop does it all. Mm-hmm. I wonder who distributes Death Row. Is it still Interscope or will it be Def Jam now because Snoop has to deal with Def Jam? Curious. Yeah. That's a great question. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. And he's been doing all those NFTs, right? Mm-hmm. And made a whole lot of money already. And speaking of NFTs, here's the story for us. We are doing a Breakfast Club exclusive NFT with one of. So we're excited because we're doing our own F- NFTs and it's all based on the Breakfast Club. And if you guys don't know one of, we talked about them previously. Um, you know, they've been doing these NFT drops in the music business. So right now they're doing something with Corday. You can check it out at oneof.com. Mm-hmm. And that actually drops today at 2 p.m. The collection is called Identity. And so it's his hoodies, shirts, jackets, accessories interpreted with pop art surrealism. But we're going to have more info about the Breakfast Club NFT coming in the next few weeks. And we'll be talking NFTs on NFT Tuesdays and surprising you with new drops. So make sure you keep listening. And you can also check out oneof.com. It's your chance to collect and own a piece of the Breakfast Club. All right. All right, and that is your rumor report. All right. Well, the People's Choice Mix is up next. Get your request in right now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Let's go. The Breakfast Club.